Hey, 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 how you all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time dropping by, my name's Dee. How you all doing? Hope you're all doing well in your world. I just want to do a little quick one about um, drinks in the Gambia. Um, when I say drinks in the Gambia, are the drinks in the Gambia any different to any other country? Yeah, of course they are. So, for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> um, predominantly a lot of the people in the Gambia um, follow the Muslim faith. So, alcohol is in the Gambia and you can purchase alcohol in the Gambia, but respectfully, um, you know, you shouldn't be walking around in public places, you know, dr drinking it in your hand because that's being respectful, isn't it? So there will be pubs and clubs in it and bars and restaurants that will provide alcohol that you can clearly purchase. Obviously, you can dr drink in those abodes, but um, I've never seen anybody walking around the Gambia with um, alcohol in their hands. So um, that's just a small suggestion. But one of the things that people drink a lot in the Gambia is a tyre. Um, I haven't quite worked out where the word comes from or where it originates, but if anybody can help me, you can put that down in the comments section. It's just an interesting name. But it, in essence, it's um, a tea, really, and it comes in packets. And you will see the women make it, the old make it, the young make it, the males make it, and you will see people all day every part of the day there's no specific part of the day when you'll see people drinking a tire and that is just made in a small teapot any version of a teapot but they do have specific ones that you'll see see them have that you can buy anywhere in any of the local markets and shops and they'll have two little um well they could have more than two but little glasses and a saucer so they'll be making a tyre all the time, in the shade, preferably, because it's a hot country, Gambia. So it's like a, a, it's a strong, strong green tea. Um, it can be quite bitter. Um, it depends on how much sugar people put in it. But we, you know, I've done a vlog somewhere else about not putting too much sugar in it because sugar is not good for you. We won't get into all that again. So a tyre is one of the things that you will consistently consist now a tire is one of the things that you will see people drinking all the time and it's consistent no matter what day time night evening morning you'll see people drinking a tire so that's one of the main drinks and then um should i ask you what's your favorite drink in the gambia what's your favorite drink there's also bao bao so the you know that that's um from the baba fruit from the baba tree massive huge trees they are absolutely huge and the trunks look a little bit i think a little bit like elephant scalings on the trunk but anyway some of those baba trees you can literally stand in them they're so huge um anyway so that's a, so the baba juice is made locally and you'll see women um will be walking around with their bucket or that ice compact container with um all sorts of local juices that they've made at home and they'll sell those along the roadside i mean how ingenious is that that's entrepreneurial ship and that's obviously makes money for the family doesn't it so you know very good very good so the baba juice itself it's um it's got a lot of fiber in it and i think i mentioned this before it promotes the good bacteria of the stomach so that's um one one drink i think i've mainly seen just bar bar on its own but they, they i think bar bar and ginger i think it is i've seen mixed i think but what other combinations could there be put it down in the comment section any uh, bar bar and what whatever would you drink it with what would you add to it for a flavour? What other things do you see people sell and put inside the bao bao? Um, 
also palm wine that is made from the sap of um the palm wine palm tree rather um and it's made into alcohol so that's a local um local alcoholic beverage and apparently it's very sweet and apparently you, you can get drunk on it very very quickly because it's sweet and it fools you and people think oh this isn't very strong so palm wine um uh, there's some trips that you can go on for like a day trip and they'll take you and they'll show you how you climb the tree to get the palm wine down well not the palm wine itself but the thing um that you produce the palm wine from and also um how to make it you know that's a local thing so you might find that there are trips that you can well there are trips that you can go and you will see palm wine being made along with other things um there's also ginger but um whoo that's got fire in it man i'm telling you fire so but it's nice and refreshing on a hot day if you have it um if it's cool so that that's a, a local ginger drink you'll see being made and ditter ditter i don't know what that's made from i assume it's the the, the ditter fruit that's that's quite nice i quite like ditter there's another one i can never remember its name i always always forget it very this is a kind of a greeny color it's a kind of a brownie color but i can't remember what its name is but it's a local drink in the gambia so put that down in the comments section for me please help me with that one and wonjo wonjo is another one that um that's made from the um hibiscus leaves we we call that sorrel in jamaica so that's another one that's made locally and you can have wonjo and ginger wonjo on its own um add as much sugar or less sugar as you want to less sugar is better as we know but some people like it really sweet so and again that's another refreshing drink if it's really really hot so those are the there, there might be more but those are the ones that i've come across and those are drinks that you'll find locally in the gambia you'll find that um men men will sell them but mainly women you'll find all around the place selling those drinks and also the children um i've seen um oh, i don't know what they call them oh it's just like um ice ice with flavoring on in a little bag it must have a local name i can't remember um in jamaica they call that bag juice or suck suck um so you see these entrepreneurial skills all over the world and very similar because Jamaica is a hot country, Gambia is a hot country, people are entrepreneurial, there's no system that supports people so you have to get out there and do your own thing and provide for yourself so the ingenuity is there. So support the local people, yes there's all sorts of supermarkets that sell all sorts of drinks that you might be more familiar with but it's nice when you're visiting other countries to try some of the local things but do bear in mind that a lot of them will be made with local water and that might be um, con contrary to some people's stomachs but some of the local vendors will make it with bottled water so just ask just ask and, if, and I think if you tend to purchase it from a um, established store then you'll find that often that they make it with um, bottled water and normally the person the storeholder will know if it's local water or not so that's all i've got for you right now if you can think of any other drinks that are made locally in the gambia i think i've said that before already please put it down in the comments section or any drinks that you might want to make ah sour sop oh, yeah that's one that's one of them isn't it sour sop not one of my favourites. Sour sop, sour sap. How do you say it? Sour sop. Anyway, so another drink. Put them down in the comments section. That's all I've got for you right now. Peace, guidance, and protection. Until another good time. Walk good, walk good, walk good. 
It's been Deity's Village, Kara, Kara, peace, peace, peace. We're out of here.